Good evening, friends. Success and race don't sleep together. I heard the story from the Eric Thomas. One guy went to Guru to know the secret of the success. The Guru put his head under the water and then take him out after some time and ask the guy that when you are inside the water, what is that that you want? And taught him the secret to success is when you want the success as much as you want to breathe, then only you want to be you are going to be successful. I am here to tell you that most of you want to be successful, but you don't want it so bad. You just kind of want it. You want the success. You don't want success as much as you want to party. You don't want to be successful as much as you want to gossiping. Most of you don't want to be successful as much as you want to sleep. And my friends, if you want to be successful in life, you have to be willing to give up your sleep. Because if you sleep, you might miss the opportunity to get the successful. As we all know the story of the rabbit and tortoise. Rabbit was so fast, he can see the finish line. But what he did? He took race, he slept, and he lost. Confucius also says, it doesn't matter how slow you are, as long as you don't stop. But you will say, or you will stop, or you will take the race, and you say, I am tired now, I am feeling pain, I should stop. But remember, if you want to be successful, you have to go beyond it. All the roads to success, it goes through the pain. It's not an easy way, I know. But I am happy because it's not an easy way. Why? Because, because if it was easy, then everybody would do it. The only question is how bad you want it. You really want to be successful. You don't care about the Facebook. You don't care about the Twitter. You don't care about the family or friends or movies. You don't care about the internet. The only thing that you care about is when you breathe, you just try to take some fresh air. And when you get to the point where you want to be successful as much as you want to breathe, then only you are going to be successful. Muhammad Ali. Someone asked the Muhammad Ali, the greatest boxer in the world, that how many sit-ups did you do? And he answered, I don't count my sit-ups. I started to count when it starts to pay, when it starts to hurt. Arnold Schwarzenegger, he also told that the uh, uh, last two or three sets after the pain, after the hurting, that makes all the difference. That extra two or three sets, that makes the difference between being champion and not being champion. And I want to say lastly, Eric Thomas said that uh, make the concept of my life that pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour, or a day, or even a year, but eventually it will subside and something else will it take, take its place. If I quit however, it will last forever. And lastly I want to say, lastly I want to say, dar to mujhe bhi laga fasla dekkar, dar to mujhe bhi laga fasla dekkar, par mein chalta gaya rasta dekkar. खुद ब खुद नजदीक आती गई मेरी मंजिल मेरा फसला देखकर